Well, hey everyone, it's Dragon Otaku here, and today I'm reacting to Girls Last Tour Episode 5. So, let's get this started here in 3, 2, 1. Starting off with, right with the out intro. This show has been a lot of fun, and I'm this is one of those I'm really thoroughly enjoying. You know, definitely on the upper side of my, of my favorites from the season. Current ranking, I might say this is like number two, you know, current ranking right now. One thing I love is like how casually they just kind of throw out the philosophical conversation, you know, about living in a post-apocalyptic waste world, you know, and wasteland and exploring the world through their eyes, you know. Man, the sound design is just fantastic. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff up here. <laughs> oh, probably even more. <laughs> House. Yeah. <laughs> You're always on the move, though. <sighs> yeah, it's basically your house. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay, so they did lose it. Okay, so we got a little bit more, a little more backstory right there. Got running water.
Or how long it's been since they left. <laughs> the heater would be nice. <laughs> it's amazing everything still works. At least electricity and the lights and stuff. <laughs> this is actually really sad. Just imagining what life would be like, you know, them, you know, and having sweet dreams of things that we would take for granted. And the crushing reality has to come in and interject itself into the world. <laughs> Food. The only thing they can truly be concerned about. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> Don't sleep while driving. Uh, <laughs> come on. Wake up. <sighs> Stacking rocks on the in the banks of hell. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> no wonder she didn't have any fun. She lost. Nap. This a dream? For someone scared of heights, it'd be a really crappy dream. <laughs> <laughs> Is she going to type to take revenge out in the real life for her dreams? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love how she's just a giant in her dreams, man. It shows that she's like the biggest part of her life. <laughs> <laughs> oh Yeah, that's a cruel reality you may have to face one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The Sound of Rain. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I just can't get over the sound design. It sounds great. What we got here? <sighs> that didn't sound good. <laughs> I see. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Experimenting with the sound of water. Love it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, that's not a cool.
Yep. Controlling it, yeah. That was cute. I like that. I like that. Of course, White Fox is rolling the credits while the show's still running. <laughs> Now the sun comes out. That was really cool. That was a cool way to end the episode. You know, I mean... Even, you know... There's just something unsettlingly... Beautiful about the whole thing. You know? It's unsettling. It's full of... You know... It's a bleak existence, but they find their happiness in it, you know, various moments. But there's always just like this overall overarching feel of unsettling, you know, of, you know, you don't feel safe when you're watching it at all, you know. It's even though, it, it, you know, nothing could, you know, this whole show, I could watch it from beginning to end and nothing could ever happen. And I can read the manga afterwards and maybe nothing ever happens in there either, you know, as far as something bad happening. But I still won't feel safe ever <laughs> because of the world they're in and how well it's executed. <laughs> all right. Well, this is Drunken Otaku. I'm heading now for now. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you all later. Hey, everyone. This is the part of the video in which I show for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon set up. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.